The Philippines joins the international community in celebrating the International Day of Forests every March 21 to celebrate and raise awareness on the importance of forests. This year's theme, Forest Restoration, A Path to Recovery and Well-Being, highlights the role of forests amid the pandemic by safeguarding our physical, emotional, and mental well-being and boosting economic growth through green jobs. The DENR FMB's Forest Wellness Week showcases urban green spaces as venues for improvement of well-being and healing through a series of online fitness classes. Today, we are bringing you to Paco Park in Paco, City of Manila. The recreational garden has deep historical significance, as it was originally meant to be a cemetery for wealthy Spanish families during the 1800s. In the late 19th century, acacia trees were planted in the park and served as witness to the interment of Dr. Hacerizal's days after his execution at Bagumbayan. In 1966, it was converted to a national park with verdant landscape thriving with old trees, bushes, and lawns, where people can spend quiet moments, as well as a venue for musical artists and chorales performing local and traditional music by the sunset. Joining us now from the Paco Park for the yoga session is Teacher Kat. Hi, good morning. This is Katrina Tan. I'm a yoga teacher and a body worker. Um, and we're here at Paco Park today and we'll be doing yoga. So for those who are unfamiliar or beginner in yoga, we will be uh, doing an open level or a beginner's class this morning. Um, we'll be moving with our breath. We'll use the breath to guide us as we flow from one movement to another. So another benefit or one of the benefits of yoga is um, for us to build strength, to help us build strength and flexibility as we move. Alright, so there. I hope you enjoy. Hi. Good morning. Good morning again. Hi. So for today's class, let's start off in child's pose. In child's pose, we'll have two different options for you to take off. You're free to bring your knees as wide as your mat or just bring your knees together. Sit your hips down towards your heels and then just reach both of your arms forward. Dropping the chest down. And then just allow yourself to just breathe in and out here in your child's pose. Allowing your breath to be long. Finding your inhales. And then your exhales. And then just allow your body to relax down, melting everything down closer towards the ground. So you may feel free to reach both of your arms forward with your elbows away from the ground. Or what you can also do is just to relax your elbows down onto the ground, onto the mat. So finding your breath. Lengthening your inhales. And then as you exhale, creating the same length as your inhale. Keeping this type of breathing as we go through the class. Feel free to swing your hips side to side if you feel like it might be beneficial for your practice this morning. Especially if you feel a little tight on the hips that may be a good option for you to take. We'll be staying here for a couple more cycles of breaths.
And no, at that any point during the class, whenever you feel like you have to rest, just come into this child's pose without me having to cue you in. And then slowly on your next breath, walk your hands in, lifting your chest up. And then slowly exhale in here. Sit down onto your heels. Do it again. Inhale, both of your arms, reach it up. Exhale, slowly release. Hands down onto the ground. One more time. Inhale, arms, they reach up. And then exhale, slowly release. Let's do the right side. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, slowly release. Right hand down. Inhale, lengthen left arm. Exhale, slowly. Side bend towards the right side. Good. Keep turning your chest open towards the sky. Maybe walk your right hand a little bit more forward. If the elbow can bend, feel free to bend at the elbows. Some of you might be able to touch the ground. One more breath. And then slowly inhale, rise back up. Arms they reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release, hands down on the ground. Inhale, arms they reach up. Exhale, release, left hand down. Root the right sit bones down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take a side bend towards the left side. And then keep walking your left hand down towards the left side. Maybe the elbow will bend down. Maybe not. That's okay. Keep lengthening on the right side body. And then exhale. Just keep that side bend happening towards the left. Keep the chest opening up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale. Inhale, slowly rise back up center. Both of your arms daily chop. Exhale, release. Hands down on either side. Begin to walk your hands forward, finding tabletop, stacking your hips and your knees on top of each other, shoulders and the wrists on top of each other. Good. On an in-breath, just drop your belly down, chest forward, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin in towards your chest. Keep moving, dropping the belly, chest forward, looking up. Exhale, rounding the exhale, rounding the spine, chin and towards your chest. Four more cycles. Inhale, drop the belly, chest forward, looking up. Feel free to round your spine. Move in any way that you have to. Maybe creating circles, and then on an exhale, round the spine as well. If you wish to roll out towards the opposite side, feel free to do so. A couple more cycles at your own, rounding the spine or just doing your traditional cat and cows by dropping the belly and then by rounding the spine on an exhale. Finding your breath in here, flowing through your breath and then exhale. On your next breath, find neutral spine, neither roll, rounding nor arching curling the toes, and then begin to lift the knees away from the ground. Just a couple of inches away from the ground. Hover in here, finding your lower belly to work. Breathing in. Exhale. Inhale. And then keep pushing the mat away from the ground, hovering the knees away from you, away from the ground. Final breath. We will stay. And then exhale, slowly release. Knees down onto the ground again. Maybe uncurl your toes. Stay in here. Cats and cows again. Inhale, drop the belly, chest forward. Exhale, rounding the spine. Making sure that everything is still stacked on top of each other. Dropping the belly, chest forward, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin in towards the chest. Inhale, one last. Drop the belly, chest forward, look up. Exhale, round the spine chin and towards your chest very nice on your next breath just find neutral walking both of your hands forward just a couple of inches curling the toes 
Lifting the knees, send the hips up, pressing the chest back, find your downward facing dog. And for now, bend both of your knees, lifting the heels away from the ground, and then just allow your hips to be up, and then just pedal your feet left and the right. As you pedal your feet, maybe the heels will touch the ground, maybe not. That's fine. Just slowly move your knees, move your heels up and then down. Two more breaths. Keep pushing the mat away from you. Final one. Just on your next breath, begin to slowly straighten up your leg. Back into the stillness, in towards your downward facing dog. Keep the hips reaching up. Keep the crown of the head down. Finding length in here. Still moving back towards your breast. Last one in here. And then slowly on your next breath, you're just going to walk your hands back to meet your feet. And then find a forward fold in here. Good. Keep everything down, dropping the head down, letting everything melt down onto the ground. If you can touch the ground, feel free to touch the ground. Otherwise, if it's too far, feel free to bend at the elbows and then sway side to side. Moving your body, allowing it to just drape down. Just a couple more breaths. And then exhale. On your next breath, release both of your hands down on the floor, finding softness still. And then on your next breath, just roll your spine one vertebra at a time, allowing your head to come up last. And then once you've reached the top of your mat, finding stillness. For others, bring your feet together. For others, bring your feet as wide as your hips. Whatever finding stillness, whatever feels more comfortable. Crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. Rooting down onto your heels, down onto the ground. One breath. And then exhale. Inhale, swinging both of your arms up towards the sky. Looking up, exhale, diving down, hands down onto the ground. On an inhale, lift your chest, look forward with a flat back. Exhale, fold down again, all the way. Inhale, rising all the way up, reaching arms towards the sky. Exhale, release, hands down by your side. Doing it again. Inhale, arms, they lift up. Exhale, diving, folding down. Inhale, lifting your chest up, open up, flat back. Exhale, melting down, diving down onto the ground. Inhale, very slowly rise all the way up, circling the arms up. And then exhale, slowly release, hands down by your side. One last time. Inhale, arms, they lift up. Exhale, folding forward, diving down onto the ground. On an in-breath, lift your chest up, look forward, flat back. Exhale, melt your body down, hands down onto the ground again. As you inhale, you slowly rise all the way up, arms towards the sky or the ceiling. And then exhale, slowly release, hands down by your side. Let's add on to that. Adding on. Inhale again. And then exhale. Inhale, arms, reach up. Exhale, folding down, diving down onto the ground. Inhale, chest lift, looks forward, flat back. And then as you exhale, slowly walk both of your hands forward. Take it to your plank, just your plank. Stay here, find stillness, find steadiness in your plank. Push everything up and then drop both of your knees down for the first round. Good. Keep everything lifting. Don't sag your hips down. For others, if you wish to straighten up your legs, feel free to straighten up your legs. Stay in your plank, fire up your body. And then exhale slowly, send the hips up towards the ceiling or the sky. 
chesting back, chest pressing back, downward facing dog, breathing in, breathing out. Very nice. On your next breath, lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, very slowly, shifting the weight forward as you bring that right knee in towards your chest, stepping that right foot forward in between the hands or hold it up there. Your choice. Good. If it falls short, carry your foot with your right hand, step it forward in between your hands, and then just release the left knee down on the ground. On your next inhale, just land both of your hands on top of your right knee. We stay here. And I want you to just lengthen the spine up and then straighten up the elbows, just pushing your chest away from your thighs. Allowing your left front hip to open up. Inhale, we stay here. Or if you feel like you have that option, reaching that arms up towards the ceiling, up and over your head, alongside your ears. You can keep looking forward or look up towards your arms, whichever feels more comfortable with your neck. Final breath in here. Finding stability. And then very slowly, stay here, pull the belly up, hands down on the mat. Some of you, walk your left knee further back. Otherwise, keep it there. Keep the left hand down. Open up the chest. Right arm, lift it up towards the sky, breathing in. You can reach your right arm up and over your head just to create a little bit more length on your right side body. Your choice. Right knee shifting forward. Good. Making sure that the right knee won't straighten up. Finding breath. Exhale, slowly look down. Both of your hands down on the ground. Straighten up that back leg. Good. Lifting up in towards your high lunge legs. Stay here. Breathe in, breathe out, stay in here. Next breath, keep pushing. Others will pop that rest right knee up or just keep stepping it back. Find your plank. Nice, stay here in your high plank or drop both of your knees down. Your choice, stay in here, lift the belly up. Final breath, maybe shift the weight forward, lift the belly up, don't bring your tailbone up. On your next exhale, slowly begin to just bend the elbows, chaturanga, and then go all the way down onto the ground. Keep the tops of the feet down, rolling the shoulders up, back and then down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Find low cobra, exhale, slowly release. Inhale again. Roll your shoulders back, lifting up your chest, finding low cobra, or you can lift a little higher, higher than the first one, keeping the tops of the feet down on the floor still. Exhale, slowly release. On the third cycle, one last. Roll your shoulder heads back down. Lift up higher maybe than the second round, but this is just an option. Keep to stay on your second height or the first height. That's fine. Final breath. And then exhale, curl the toes, lifting the hips up and then back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Final breath. And then exhale in here. We'll be moving on towards the second side, lifting that left leg up towards the ceiling. As you slowly, we'll begin to shift the weight forward in towards your plank. Bring that left knee in towards your chest. Either you hover or just begin to step. Both options are good. We'll be finding, we'll be ending in high lunge. And then again, drop the right knee down on the ground, low lunge. Both of your arms. 
you can land it on top of the left knee, lengthening the right front hip, leaning back a bit. Stay here. This is completely fine. Otherwise, feel free to straighten both of your arms up towards the sky. Two options for you to take. Breathing in. Breathing out. Finding that comfort on your neck. Don't allow your shoulders to hike up towards your ears. Finding breath. Keeping that length. One last breath. Exhale. Release. Hands down on the floor. Maybe you'll wiggle that right knee further back or not. Keeping the toes uncurled. Open up your chest. Lifting that left arm up towards the ceiling. Right on top. Stacking on top of the opposite shoulder. Or the same option that you did onto the opposite arm. Arms up and over your head alongside your ear. Breathing in. Keep creating length in here. Breathing out. Making sure that your knee will not straighten up. Keep the knee stacking on top of the ankle. Couple cycles of breath. Final one. Exhale, slowly release. Hands down on the floor. We'll begin to again straighten that back leg up. Fire up leg. Good. We'll find plank in this position. But know that you have that option to just bring the knee towards your chest like so. Stay in here. Otherwise, if this is not accessible for today, feel free to just straighten that leg back, finding your plank, and then we'll meet everyone in here. Stay or drop the knees down on the floor. Shift forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Just don't let the hip bone sag. Bend the elbows. Chaturanga. Find the strength. And then just go all the way down onto the ground. We'll find your back bend again. Pull your shoulders back. Lifting up your chest. Maybe the hands floating away from the ground. Allowing your back muscles to work a lot. Lift your chest up for one breath. Exhale, slowly release. All the way down onto the ground. The forehead will go down on the mat as well. One last breath. And then cycle two. Same. Roll your shoulders back, lifting the chest up. Maybe higher than the first round. We'll stay here. And then exhale, slowly release. Again, down on the mat. Final one. Roll your shoulders back. Stay low or inhale, lift your chest up. Maybe keep it bent or straighten up the elbows. Your choice. All three options are good options. Remember that. Exhale, slowly curl the toes, lifting the hips up and then back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Final breath. Lengthen through the crown of the head. On your next breath, look forward in between the hands. Step, walk, or just slightly hop your feet forward in between the hands. Inhale, exhale, fold down. And then on an inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, fold down again. Dive down completely down on the ground. On an inhale, begin to just slowly rise all the way up. Arms towards the sky. And then exhale, slowly release. Hands down by your side. Stay in your Tadasana. Same thing. Another set. Breathing in. If you need to walk towards the top of your mat, feel free to do so. Otherwise, stay in your Tadasana, finding that stillness. Finding the root down with your heels. Inhale, both of your arms. They reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, diving down, folding forward in half. Inhale as you lift your chest. Halfway, look forward. Exhale, slowly release. Hands down on the mat. Plant your palms. Step both of your feet back. Find your plank. We stay in plank. Shoulders, they stack on top of the wrists all the time. Good. Heels lifting up. Keep pressing the thigh bones up towards the sky. Keep breathing in here. 
your knees can be down, your knees can be up. Your choice. Maybe I'm going to drop my knees down at this round. Slowly begin to bend at the elbows on an exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, you'll just slowly sweep the chest forward and then up. Find your up dog. And then lifting the thighs, maybe. Exhale, curling the toes, lifting the hips up and then back. Downward facing dog. We'll start with the left leg. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, step is through in between the hands, dropping the right knee down on the ground. Inhale, hands on top of your knees or reach it up towards the sky. Your choice for this low lunge. On your next breath, bend at the right elbow. Bring that right hand by your spine. Your left hand, bring it on top of the right knee. Uh, your right elbow, I, say, I mean. And then exhale, just slowly side bend towards the left side, breathing in. And then just keep that right arm hugging in towards your ears, really close towards your ears. And then find that tricep stretch in here without lifting the shoulders up towards your ears. Good. Keep the belly in and then don't rotate your spine up. Just keep looking ahead. Inhale, rise back up center. Arms you reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, just bring your hands in prayer by your chest. Good. Just lengthen your spine up, belly hugs in still, and then just bring your tailbone to point down towards the ground or the back of your knees. Inhale, slowly shift the weight forward, and then begin to roll your spine out towards the left side, maybe hooking the right elbow outside of the left knee. If it's not accessible, feel free to just land the elbow on top of the two hold or your knee, or just bring it on the inside of your knee. That's completely fine. Just find your twist without hurting your shoulders. So relax your shoulders down. Lift your chest up. The crown of the head is reaching diagonally up towards the ceiling. Keep looking towards the left side. We'll take a couple more cycles of breath in here. Exhale, look down. Release hands down on the mat. Good. We stay here. Same. Curl the right toe straight and that right leg up. So imagine somebody's pressing your side thigh bone up. Pick that left leg up or just go straight towards your plank, your choice. Just two options, hover. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Knees down or not. Inhale, lift your chest up. Up dog. Your back bend in here. Find your breath. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the hips up and up. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Keep finding your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Switching sides. Right arm lifting it up towards the sky. Shifting weight forward. Knees in. Step it through. Land the left knee down. Your choice this time. You know your options. Hands on top of your knees or reach it up towards the sky. Stay in here. Good. Another two breaths in here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. And then as you exhale, slowly hug the triceps in and then bend at the elbow. Hands by your spine. Right hand landed on top of your elbow. Keep lengthening up, releasing your shoulders down. Belly hugs in still. And then exhale, take it to a side bend towards the right side. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then again, keep center. Your chest is still facing center. You're not twisting. You're not facing up towards the sky. Good. Stay here. Find that side bend happening on your left side body. One breath. Inhale. Back up. Ceiling. Arms. They reach up. And then exhale. Slowly release. <clears throat> Hands in prayer by your chest. Inhale. Lengthen. Bring the chest against your thumb, and then the thumbs pressing in towards your chest. Shoulders relax it down. Exhale, slowly lean forward, twist towards the right side. Same three options for you. Hook the elbow outside of the knee just to deepen the twist, opening up the chest. Otherwise, if it's not accessible, just land the elbow on top of the knee or the inside of the knee. It doesn't matter for as long as your shoulders are down, you're opening up the chest, and then you're not straightening up that leg. Keep that knee bending 90 degrees for the rest of the pose. Good. Find your breath. 
exhale one last last two breaths final one exhale slowly release hands down on the floor same as with what we did straighten up that back leg lift the back thigh up good going straight to plank or pick that right foot away from the ground and then we'll find plank stay here find your plank knees down or not bend the elbows inhale open up the chest find your back bend in here up dog don't shrug your shoulders up lengthen through the spine good keep the hands pressing down exhale curl the toes lift the hips up and then back downwards facing dog breathing in finding your breath breathing out for some stay in your down dog but for the others if you wish to stay in your child's pose feel free to drop the knees down finding your child's pose sitting your hips back towards your heels and then just find your breath So you have those options, down dog or child's pose. So I'm going to do the child's pose for others to see. If you wish to stay in the downward facing dog, your inverted V shape, feel free to stay up there. Konti na lang. Keep your hands down. So notice that I'm just reaching my arm, my chest forward as I go round and my palms down and slowly lift the hips up press the chest back downward facing dog everyone is in downward facing dog next in breath look forward in between the hands and just mini step your feet forward in between the hands until you reach forward inhale lift your chest up flat back exhale fold down melt everything down onto the ground good on an in breath very slowly reach both of your arms up towards the ceiling and then exhale, slowly release, hands down by your side. How's everyone? Inhale, open up the chest, find your up dog. And then exhale, curl the toes, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog, breathing in. Breathing out. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Shift the weight forward, right knee in towards your chest as you slowly step that right foot. You have the option to keep the knee up or drop it down. Your choice. On your next breath, slowly land your hands on your hips, lifting up the chest, but keep the diagonal line from your head down towards your heels. Keep leaning the weight forward and then just push that right hip back. Good. On an in-breath, lift the chest up. Stay in your lunge. If you kept your back knee down, that's okay. That's good. Both of your hands on top of your knees, that's fine. First option, as we did a while ago, or just reach both of your arms up. We stay here. Good. Belly in. Strengthen the pose. Stay in here. So feel free to lift the back knee up if you feel like you've gained enough strength now for this practice. Good. And don't stick the butt out. Bring the tailbone pointing down. Keep reaching up, final breath. And then just release just the left hand down on the inside of your right foot, turning your chest open, lifting that left right arm towards the ceiling. Good. And then just notice how the right hip would pull out, push it back. Keep opening up your chest, find your breath. Breathing in. Exhale. One last breath, you will go. And then exhale slowly, hands down onto the ground. Good. Your choice, keep it down or lift it up. Your choice, no? So just slowly straighten up that right leg by pushing that right hip back 
Notice if your right hip is sticking out towards the right side, just pull it back in and then press it towards the midline, making sure that you're not hyperextending on that right knee. Maybe song will keep a soft, soft bend. Reach your chest forward and then just slowly fold down, melt your body down. And then instead of looking towards your knees, look towards your big toes. Good. Final breath in here. Stay. Good. Keep the hands down. Just the right leg. Bend the right knee forward. Find your high lunge again. Inhale. We stay here. Pick it up or straight back in towards your plank. Your choice. We stay here. Drop the back knee or not. Stay in here. Or for some, bend at the elbows. You can stay in your plank if you wish to, no? Inhale. Curl the toes, lifting the hips up and then back, downward facing dog. Breathing in. So feel free to take your vinyasa or just skip your vinyasa completely. Breathing out. Keep pushing the hands down so that you'll rise up with your hips. Good. Left leg lifts up. Inhale, shift forward. Knees in. Again, you can hover or can step it through immediately. You can choose to keep that right knee down or lift it up. I'm dropping it down just for this round. But if you want it lifted, feel free. Arms up towards the ceiling. Breathing out. Breathing in. If you wish to change your mind and lift the back leg, feel free to do so as well. But if you want to stay with your back knee down, keep your back knee down on the mat. What's important is that you're not sticking your butt out. You're not bringing your ribcage forward. Finding the stability, keeping the tailbone down, final breath the lung, and then exhale. Just the right hand down. Open up your chest, left arm, lift it up towards the ceiling. We stay here. Find the strength paren on the leg, making sure that the right shoulder is not hiking up towards the ear. Yep, create length. Very nice, you guys. Stay in here, finding your twist in your high lunge legs, or maybe low lunge if you're still in your low lunge. Good, everyone. One last. And then exhale, slowly release, hands down on the floor. Keep your high lunge legs. If the back knee is down, it's down, lift it up. Good. That back leg, right foot, step it forward in between the hands. Exhale, melt everything down. Dive down onto the ground. Very nice, you guys. Inhale, arms, they reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, slowly release, hands down by your side. Last for the lunges, inhale, arms, we lift up. Exhale, folding down, diving down in half. Good. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway, look for a flat back. Exhale, exhale, slowly, release hands down. Step the left foot back. The right foot, it will follow. Find your plank. Stay here. A couple different options. Feel free to stay in your plank, drop the knees or not. Bend the elbows in towards your chaturanga. I'm not going to do it. Maybe open up your chest, up dog, back bend. And then we'll meet everyone in their downward facing dog. However way you want to move. Lift that left leg up. Good. Shift forward. Left knee in. Hover or not. Step it through in between your hands. Your choice of your lunge. Stay here, arms they lift up towards the sky. We stay here, outer right hip, reach it forward. Square your hips, push that left hip back. Do not straighten that left leg for now. Good, final breath, the lung in here. And then remember the twist earlier that we did. Bring your hands in prayer by your chest, keeping that length on your spine, keeping that belly in. And then slowly lean forward. We're going to twist on an exhale, landing the elbow on the knee, on the inside, or the outside of the knee. You can find your option. Find whatever suits your body. And then keep the chest opening, turning towards the left side. Maybe go a little deeper if it's accessible. 
good. Keep facing the left side. Very nice. Final breath na lang. And then exhale, look down. Just release hands down on the mat. Back knee down or not, your choice. Push your left hip back, straightening at that left leg. Same as we did on the opposite side a while ago. Opposite side. Keep looking towards your left big toe. The shoulders release it down away from the ears. Keep folding forward, folding the gap between your belly, your chest, and your thigh. Good. Find your breath. Rebend that left leg in towards your high lunge legs. Good. Step it back immediately to your plank or hover. You know that you have that option. Chaturanga or not. So feel free to bend at the elbow. Inhale, find your up dog. You can stay in your plank or go immediately straight back towards your downward facing dog. One last side. Right leg it lift. Exhale, very slowly. Step it through, hover or not. Inhale, slowly rise up. Find your lunge, whether it's a high lunge or a low lunge. It doesn't matter as long as it's very uh, comfortable for you. No pinching, no aching on any part of your body. Good. Keep it bending. Super duper. Front of your left hip. Reaching up. Opening up that front left hip. Very nice. Hands bring it to prayer by your chest. Keep the spine long. Lengthen. And then exhale. Just look towards the right. Hook the elbow outside of the right knee. Notice how the back leg will begin to just bend. Good. Keep the crown of the head reaching forward. Keep turning your chest. Face the right side. Final breath. Exhale. Release. Look down. Just both of the hands release it down on the ground. This time, the left foot will step forward in between the hands. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale, fold down, melt down, body on the ground. Inhale, very slowly, just shift forward. Bring the weight towards the balls of the feet, hands down on the floor. Very nice, just melt your body down. One more breath. And then slowly, on an in-breath, reach all the way up, arms towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale, slowly release, hands down by your side. We'll stay here. We'll find the Tadasana. Finding stillness. Rooting down onto your heels, down on the floor. And then find your breath. Final one. On your next breath, just bring that right knee. Bend the right knee. And then maybe my right hip will hike up a little. Drop the right hip down in such a way that both of your hips will be squared. And then just bring the right sole of the foot towards your inner left thigh. Good. Finding balance. If you find yourself wobbling side to side, maybe land your hands on your hips. Na lang. Good. We can stay here. If you feel like you have enough balance, everything is upright. You can bring your hands in prayer by your chest. Good. Finding focus. Looking straight ahead. Breathing out. Stay here lang muna. Inhale. Exhale. Find your breath. Remember the lunge that we did earlier. We'll be doing that same thing. No? On the next breath, bring the hands by your hips. Good. Bring that right knee forward, reaching forward. And then turn it in. Good. Stay here. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. Root with the left hip, left foot down. And then exhale very slowly. Tip the upper body weight forward. Take that right leg back. As you slowly step that right foot down on the floor. High lunge, both of your arms. Reach it up towards the sky. Good. Hands in prayer by your chest. Inhale, lengthen with the spine. Good. Fold forward. And then stay here 45 degrees at an angle. 
stay here. Keep the chest long. Keep reaching forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Belly and still. Final breath. On your next breath, very slowly. Lighten up the load on the back leg. Shoot forward. Tipping your upper body weight forward. Inhale, slowly float that right leg away from the ground, finding your warrior three. Balancing on your standing leg, which is the left. Maybe lifting the right leg a little higher. Can you keep that right leg straight? Very nice. Exhale, just the right leg. Step it forward in between your hands or just beside your left foot. Good. Exhale, release. Good. Let's do it the opposite side. Find breath in here first. One last breath. Left knee in. Left knee in. No hiking of the hips. Drop it down. Balance. Find weight on both of your legs, even if your left leg is floating. On your next breath, left hand. Assist your left ankle, bring it towards the inner right thigh. Stay here in your tree pose. Hugging in, everything in. So you don't have to point your left toes towards the left side. Just find that right angle. Check your hips. Make it even. Drop it down. Good. Listen to your body. Finding that work. Good. On your next breath, you can keep your hands where it is or bring it towards prayer. Few more breaths. Good. Strength on your right foot, stepping down on the mat. One more breath, back. And then exhale slowly. Bring that left foot away. Left knee in towards your chest. Hands in prayer puede, or same as a while ago, hands in by your hip. Yep, keep that right foot rooted down. Tipping your upper body weight forward as you slowly kick that left leg back. Find maximum length and then step it down. Find your high lunge as we did a while ago. Good. Find the strength in here. Keep that right knee bending super duper. Root down. Good. Face forward with your hip bones. One breath na lang, you guys. And then slowly, prayer in front of your chest. Tip upper body weight forward. And then slowly, don't round your spine in here. Don't round your spine. Lengthen with the spine and then reach forward back. Good. Because you're going to shoot. You stay in here. Finding that angle. We did this a while ago already. You're a little familiar with this. Good. One last na lang. Lighten on the left leg. Because you're going to shoot your chest forward. And then slowly lift that right leg up. Away from the ground. So you're finding gravity. You know? So you'll find it a little heavy. That's okay. Hug everything in. Belly in. Without over dropping down. Good. Find a non-moving object to focus with. Good. Left leg, it will lift up. Find the strength. Good. And then exhale, slowly release. Step that left foot beside your right. Wiggle your legs. Shake your legs. If you feel like you've used that enough, feel free to just move it around. Hands down on either side of your body. Tadasana, back towards the center of your mat. Breath in here. Finding our vinyasa. Inhale, arms, they reach up. Maybe look towards your hands or not. We stay. And then exhale, we fold down, dive down onto the ground, melting the body. Good. Inhale, lift your chest, halfway look forward. And then exhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, release, hands down onto the ground. 
root your hands down, step both of your feet back, find your plank again. And then exhale, hips up and then back, downward facing dog, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, find your breath, exhale. Just a few more. Stay here, bending the knees. Stay here. Crown of the head down. Keep the hips lifting high. Lifting the right leg up. And then slowly shift the weight forward, knees in, step it through immediately or not, dropping the back knee down on the ground. Good. Let's find your twist again. We did this a while ago. Reach that right arm up towards the ceiling or the sky. We stay here. Keep hugging everything, in. especially if you find or you notice the right knee pulling out. Good. And then just pivot that left toes towards the left side. Walk your right foot towards the center. Right knee, right ankle, right toes pointing towards the right side. Keep everything hugging in. Make sure that you're still pressing your left hand down. Inhale, right arm. Lift it up towards the ceiling. This is your modified side plank. You can keep this. This is completely good. Otherwise, you can straighten that left leg back in towards a modified paren, modified side plank. Find your plank. So again, your left knee is down or your left leg is straight. Your choice for your side plank. Good. Look down. Exhale, slowly release. Hands down on the floor. The back leg, lift it up, heels up. Yep. So your choice, kundalawayan, if your back knee is down, lift it up. Step the right foot back. Find your plank. Stay. Stay. Find strength. Find stability. Keep pushing away from the ground. One more breath. And then exhale, just slowly send the hips up and then back in towards your downward facing dog. Opposite side. Left leg lift it up. Inhale, shift the weight forward. And then maybe step or hover a bit. Back knee down on the mat or not. Your choice. Take it to a twist again. High lunge. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Your choice now for this modified side plank. Walk the left foot towards the center of your mat. Either the right knee drops down or not. And then pivot that right toes back towards the right only if you're dropping the knee down. Good. So I'm doing the second option, the knees down on the mat so that others can see it as well. Good. Keep that length on your spine happening. Final breath na lang. Look. Both of your hands down. With that right leg, bring it back again and then straighten. If it's bent, step that left foot back. Find your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly. We'll stay in down dog. For the others, find your vinyasa. But feel free to not take your vinyasa. So stay in your down dog na lang. Everyone will meet the man in their downward facing dog. So that's okay. Let's do it again. This time, right foot, lift it up. Shifting weight forward, right foot in between the hands, left knee. Everyone, this round, left knee will be down on the ground. Let's pivot that left toes towards the left side. Right foot will, leg, will wiggle towards the center of your mat. Right arm, lift it up towards the ceiling. We'll stay here. Next breath, step that right foot back. So another modification of your side plank. Yeah. Stay here. If your hips is tagging down, lift it up. Hips, send it forward. Find the strength. 
maybe the back leg, it will lift up, breathing in, breathing out. Option lang po, pwedeng ibaba pa rin, breathing in. You don't have to lift that leg up, only if you want to. Right hand, very slowly, release it down on the floor, lift that back heel up, pivot with the left foot, and then very slowly, stay here, or... Activate that right leg, curl the left toe, left knee away from the ground, and then bring the heel towards your bum. Extra black. Straighten that left leg back, drop it down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last round, last round. Parang daming last, no? Hold your next breath. Stay here, keep the hips lifting high. Lift that left leg up. As you slowly step it forward in between the hands. So again, this time, drop the knee down on the floor. Like what we did on the opposite side. Good. Pivot. Walk your left toes towards the left side. And then reach your left arm up towards the sky. Good. And then notice any sagging of the hips, any reaching of the ribs. Or the shoulders is collapsing towards your ear. Notice those imbalances. And then try to adjust. And then slowly, with your left leg, step it back. So it will be in one direct line with the rest of your body. This is already good. Otherwise, feel free to straighten that left leg up towards the ceiling, breathing in. Breathing out. You can keep it down if you want. If you lifted it up and you feel like it's not for you, feel free to drop it down. Look down. And then the left hand, release it down on the floor. Pivot everything. Square, face the ground. Good. Final breath. Moving away. Left leg, left toes down. Curl the right toe, lifting the right knee away from the ground. Good, good, good. Float it away from the ground. Finding your breath. Shoulder still on top of the wrist. Good. And then slowly step that left foot, right foot back. Find your plank. Very nice. Maybe exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open up the chest. Uh, stay here, all the way down. All the way down onto the ground. And then make a mixture of pillow out of your hands. And then just release forehead down onto the hand or your mixture of pillow or on the ground. Good. On your next breath, very slowly, just walk your hands on either side of your body, of your rib cage. Roll your shoulders back, lifting up your chest like what we did earlier, low cobra. We'll stay here. We'll stay here, heavy on the feet, down on the floor. Good. Maybe keep looking down. Hands on either side of your ribs, but then lifting your arms away and then just reach your arms back. Behind you, open up, interlock your hands so that your chest will open up some more. Lift your legs away from the ground. Shalabhasana, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly release all the way down. Rest one cheek down on the floor, resting down on the mat. Slowing down your breath in here. Forehead back on the mat. And then just bend at the elbows. Or reach both of your elbows. Both of your hands back. Slowly. Keep the forehead down on the mat. And then just roll your shoulders up and back. Good. On an inhale. Very slowly lift the chest up. Good. Bring the back of your palm down on the mat. Maybe lifting yourself up a little higher. And then inhale, lift your legs a little high. And then lifting the arms up as well, away from the ground. Lift a little higher, maybe higher than the first one. 
We stay here. Final breath, you will go. And then exhale, slowly release all the way down onto the ground. Maybe the opposite cheek will be down on the floor. Maybe it's your forehead. Down on the mat. One last breath. Final back bend na lang. Good. This time, hands on either side of your body. Keep reaching back. Keep reaching back. And then lift the chest up. So imagine your hands would want to reach for your ankle, but your ankle will not help. Good. Keep looking ahead in front of your mat. And then lift the chest a little higher, lifting the legs high. Good. And then higher than the second round. Find breath in here. And then keep sliding your arms back as if you want to touch your legs, but your legs is not going to bend. Good. Lift up. Exhale, slowly release. Forehead down on the mat. Find your breath in here. One last na lang. And then exhale very slowly, release. Hands down on either side of your rib cage. Hug everything in. Find your plank again. And then slowly, just slowly find your tabletop position. And then begin to just send your hips back, press the chest back down, finding your child's pose. Slowly release, moving back to the first position that we did. Maybe bringing your palms to face up towards the sky. Allowing your arms to relax. Stay in here. Releasing the breath already. On your next breath, walk your hands in underneath your shoulders and then just lift your chest back up. Closing your eyes, just landing your hands on top of your knees and then rolling your shoulders up, back, and then down. Relaxing in here. Finding your breath, keeping the sit bones down, keeping this crown of the head reaching up. Just a few cycles of breaths. Keep lengthening up. Few breaths, making sure that you're not rounding your spine. Press the spine towards your chest, lifting the chest up towards the sky, hugging everything in, the tailbone rolling down, keeping your hands on top of your knees. And then just allowing the breath to flow through your body, breathing in and out through the nose. Keep creating length. Quieting your mind. And then we'll slowly sit all the way down, sending your legs forward. And then just shake. Maybe walk towards the center of your mat. So you'll have a lot, a lot more space later on. 
and then allow your allow your knees to be soft, maybe bending out towards the side, pushing your hips back, maybe walking your your legs back one at a time, and then keep the leg lifted, keep the chest lifted, keep the toes pointing up, and then exhale, just fold down in towards your posture mode, Sanasana. So again, the goal is that this, just to round your spine and to flop down. I want you to reach your chest forward. Maybe your head will reach towards your foot, your toes. You can land your hands either on your shins, on your knees, on your thighs, whichever is more accessible for you. As long as your chest is still lifted, your spine is still long and it's flat, good. So again, the depth, the depth is not super duper important for as long as your spine is lifted up. Good. Stay in here. Lift your chest up, inhale, one breath. And then just land your hands on either side of your body. Inhale, lift your chest up, straighten up the legs. And then exhale. Bending at the knees, stepping your feet down on the floor. Maybe scoop your hips forward if you feel like measure you're at the end of your mat. And then just find yourself all the way down. Yeah, just to make sure that the entire body, even your head, is covered by your mat. Unless you're okay not to. So walk your feet underneath your knees, stacking your knees and your ankles on top of each other. Bring your feet as wide as the hips. And when we stay here, we'll be finding our bridge on your next breath, hands down on either side of your body. Good. Keep the chin in, but not super tucking in towards your chest. Good. Everything rooted down on the floor. Inhale, lift your hips up. And then maybe lift your hips a little higher. Exhale, slowly release down on the ground. Good. Stay here for, for, an for another breath. Good. On your next breath, hug both of your knees in towards your chest. And then just rock yourself from side to side. Stay here. Good. On your next breath, keep that right arm extended out towards the side, letter T, and then just drop both of your knees towards the left side. Good. Notice if your, right left, if your right shoulder is floating away from the ground, drop it down, even if that means that you lift your knees away from the ground. Good. Keep turning your chest open towards the sky or look towards your right shoulder, whatever is more accessible. And then exhale, switch sides. Book your knees in. And then extend your left arm out. Exhale, drop both of your knees towards the right side. Same thing. So keep wiggling that left fingertips out towards the left side as if you want to reach for something that's really far from you. And then keep looking towards the ceiling or their left shoulder. We stay here, pa. Good. This is your twist. Inhale very slowly, moving back to center. And then stay for another breath, maybe rocking yourself from side to side. Another option is to rock yourself forward and back. Not so much, just to massage your back, making circles out of your knees clockwise and then counterclockwise. Twice, breathing in, breathing out, inhale, inhale, lift your forehead towards your knees, create yourself like a smallest ball that you can be, holding your breath, tighten up everything here, 
And then very slowly exhale everything out, straightening your legs forward. Bring your feet as wide as the mat, allowing your toes to splay out, the arms away from your body, palms facing up, eyes closed. Stay here in your Shavasana. Wala na yata akong sinasabi siya. So you begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring awareness back into your bodies. And then just reintroduce movement back, sliding your feet together, reaching both of your arms up and over your head into your lock your hands. And then just give yourself a very nice deep stretch as if you're waking up first thing in the morning again. And then whenever you are ready, just draw both of your knees in towards your chests. As you slowly roll down onto whichever side you're comfortable with. And then just find your fetal position. Resting your head on top of your arm, landing your hand, your opposite hand right in front of your chests. Whenever you feel like ready at your own pace, finding your own time, slowly press yourself up. Come back to a seated position facing the front or just find any comfortable seat. So we'll find, uh, we'll keep our eyes closed, finding both of your sit bones, seated heavily down on the ground, and then lengthen the spine up towards the spine. So finding your breath. We'll begin to find equal breath. You can bring your palms moving up towards the sky or land your hands on top of your knees. Good choice. You, you want your hands planted down if you want a little bit more of that grounding, a little bit more of that rooted breath. 
But if you want to feel a little bit of that energy, you lack that energy, and you want a little bit of more awareness, then your palms to be up forward. So I'll guide you through a breathing, or so through a pranayama. It's an equal breath, I'm a breathe. We'll inhale four counts. We'll pause for two. We'll exhale for four. And then we'll pause for two. So find your breath, inhale to an exhale. And then exhale everything else. On an inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two. One, and then exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two, one. Breathe in again, one. Two, three, four, hold for one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, hold for one, two, inhale again, one, two, three, four, hold for two, one, exhale one, two, three, four, and hold for one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two, one. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two. One and then exhale for three, two, one. We'll hold. Breathe in and out like you would normally do. And then we'll find five counts this time. Hold for two. And then exhale for five. Hold for two. Exhale everything out. Inhale for one. Two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Exhale one. Three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Inhale one. Two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold for one, two. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Last one. Inhale one, two. Three, four, five, hold for one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, hold for one, two, and then just inhale and exhale. Just breathing in and out like you would normally do.
I invite everyone to bring your hands in prayer right in front of your chest. Inhale, lift in your chest up. And then as you exhale, let's bow our heads down towards the chest. I thank each and every one of you for allowing me to guide your practice. Thank you for being here, for showing up on your mat for yourself, touching your mind, touching your lips, and touching our hearts. Thank you, everyone, for lighting me on and back down to the light means of you and me the light to others. Namaste. We encourage everyone to take care and maximize the benefits of our forests, urban parks, and open spaces. Once again, we thank you for joining BNR FMB Forest Wellness Week in celebration of our International Day of Forests every March 21st. Follow BNR FMB Facebook page for updates on their upcoming activities and events. Once again, this is Katrina Tan from Mindful Movement with Kat. Thank you for joining us. Namaste. Thank you.